Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for some more training videos. That's right, we're, we're gonna go do some training. Actually, the next three videos, well, this one and the next two are gonna be about trains. Model trains to be mower, to, or I guess miniature trains would be a better way to say it. We're gonna go do some training stuff. Yappy had to come to Houston for a, a thing. We've ended up spending three nights in a RV resort. Uh, not a whole lot for dude RV in a, in a RV resort. We're right next to an intersection. Made it a little bit difficult to get some sleep because we've been way out in the middle of nowhere where it's super quiet. Now we got all this noise. Between her having to go to her thing, I, f I found I identified some things that were of interest to me and they're gonna go into the train stuff playlist. I went to three different locations here. And rather than trying to get all three of them into one video and not do any of the three proper justice, I'm gonna break it down into three videos. The first one was actually the last thing that I did. So we're gonna jump in the truck and we're gonna go to Rosenberg, Texas and visit the Rosenberg Train Museum. Worked with a young man there that was very knowledgeable about trains and stuff. So we'll just jump right to that. The next videos will be released as I feel it's appropriate. Before we get into this, hit the howdy button. Think about clicking on the subscribe button. I've, I've now added this whole training stuff, train stuff playlist. And so as I travel around doing what I do with the RV campgrounds, we're gonna visit train stuff. So you're gonna wanna click the subscribe button. Hit the bell as well. That way you'll always be notified when a new training video is posted. So let's go to Rosenberg and see some train stuff. Uh, I was planning on doing this on Friday morning, but I think I've got enough daylight left. We're gonna go check out Rosenberg. We're headed to Rosenberg, Texas. And we're gonna see the Rosenberg Train Museum. Hopefully, they close at three o'clock, so I gotta, I gotta hurry. We made it to Rosenberg, the train museum in Rosenberg, Texas. And it does require a, a $10 admission, and I donated another dollar. Now they've got all kinds of railroad-related stuff that you can tour. It requires a guided tour. That requires a guide. That's not what we're here for. We're going that way. Nick works here and he's gonna give us a little rundown on, on the various model railroads. But before we get into that, Nick, you said you had a YouTube channel? Give me, yeah, give yeah. me, give me a, a quick on the YouTube channel. Yes, yeah, so I just, I'm a rail fan, so I'll go out and I'll film uh, different trains that actually come through here in Rosenberg, and uh, I'll post them for people to watch, and a lot of people tend to enjoy them, so. Okay, cool, so you do like real trains. Yes, sir. Awesome. But I, I'm also in love with model trains as well. So give me the rundown on, on what we've got going on here in Rosenberg, because I, I never heard about this until someone posted a comment on a video. Yes, sir. Now, um, the main purpose of this museum is to uh, preserve and protect uh, Fort Bend railroading history. Um, so we have all kinds of things from, um, from trains, from uh, Tower 17, which was the original tower here to, tower, to uh, Rosenberg. But um, a lot of the things that we do is just we give people tours and we allow people that aren't interested in tra trains a chance to actually step inside of trains and understand what, what their purpose is and other things like that. Okay. So each layout, because because I just did this video of, of a layout that a guy spent 35 years building, it's in Palestine, right, in his garage, and that was his thing. 
these are these built more as a public display or were they someone's creation as a passion right a lot of these that we have in here were built as a passion um for example this horseshoe layout over here this layout took around 25 years to build and it was actually built by a man named lee frisbee uh, the story is he actually built that uh, for his granddaughter but sadly he did pass away uh his uh his I'm sorry, Lee Frisbee did pass away earlier in 2005, and uh, the layout just sat in, their, um, sat, sat in their garage for quite a while until one of their friends actually donated it here to the museum, and it's actually, it was actually one of the first layouts here to the museum. Okay. But a lot of these layouts aren't based off a particular place. A lot of them are just based off imagination or things that the creator has done with his life. This layout we call the M&M layout. Now this layout is uh, based off of Silverton, Colorado. Uh, it's, uh, this uh, layout has four individual loops, and this is HO scale, so we can run about four different trains um, at a time, and it's probably one of my favorite layouts that we have here in Rosenberg. And then we have like a forest setting. Yes, sir. This, is, this layout is what we call the Newfeld layout. The Newfeld took around, uh, I believe it was 19 years to build, and uh, a lot of things on this layout were completely made by hand scratch from the buildings, uh, even the trees, uh, the rails, I'm sure he probably bought, but uh, the scale is 0 and 30. It's a pretty unknown uh, scale among model railroaders, but the reason why it's called 0 and 30 is because it's smaller than O, bigger than HO, but the trains will, will run on HO track, giving it that narrow gauge feel. Okay, interesting. And that has three sides to it? Yes, sir. We have a whole other side over here. It's probably one of my favorite sides of this layout. The detail in this layout is absolutely insane. It is. I've had guests on my tours point out things to me that I haven't even seen before. For example, uh, the salmon swimming in the river here, along with the bear hunting for them. That's cool. And he made these trees. Yes, sir. So from stories that his wife told us, he would have actually gone and he would have plucked out, pl plucked out little sticks out of their garden. And he would actually um, use his wife's hairspray to spray the little stick. And uh, once, he's once he finished that, he actually sprink he sprinkled foliage on the stick. And that's actually some of the trees that we see here on this layout today. Interesting. Now, one more thing that I'd like to point out is the paste here on the mountains and on the sides. That paste is actually a mixture of of uh, leaves, sticks, and dirt. Mr. Newfeld actually put them into a blender and blended them and then put it uh, here on his layout. And that's the paste that you see here today. Interesting. He spent a lot of time on that. The thing I like about this layout is it almost feels like it's actually moving. A lot of times you can come in here and it's almost like, oh, they've completed a whole another section of the bridge or anything else like that. It's just telling a whole another story about the layout. It's doing trees. I just want to get out in there and hike, you know? Right. This sale has won several different awards for just the amount of detail and it's, it's, it's just an amazing layout and everyone seems to be wowed by it when they come in here. Well, I am certainly wowed by it.
dude even put a squirrel on the roof. Yes, sir. <laughs> Almost need magnifying glasses right. to be able to see in there. The wild turkeys flying. Right back in there, there's three wild turkey. There's eagles. I feel like there's almost every animal that you can think of in this on this layout. There is. I see the bald eagle up there. Right up there in that tree. Oh, and there's more over here. Oh, absolutely. This guy did a heck of a, heck of a job. Wow. So th this was built for the granddaughter. I, I, don't, I don't buy that. I think he built this for himself. <laughs> Right here, you can actually see inside of the depot. That is very, very cool. Okay. We're going to be breaking out. There's going to be Insta360 videos of each one of these posted following this video. Uh, they'll be in the train stuff playlist. That's so cool the swimmers in the pool. <laughs> this layout is actually built by my boss and we call it the Russo layout. This layout was originally at the uh, front gallery, front and center. And uh, well, my boss has also gotten me started into model trains and thankfully actually um, he uh, lended me a few of his trains and I bought them off him at one point. And now I have a layout of my own at home. In? Yes, sir, in scale. Like a little police car. And then we have some O's. And what's, what's the story behind the O? So the O scale, so O scale, is a was one of the most popular brands of model railroading um, for people who just wanted to start off or if their parents got them a line all set for Christmas. But this layout is based off of uh, pretty much like what a 12 year old boy in his room would create. Okay. It's just very simple. Um, but the, the thing I like about this layout a lot is that it actually shows uh, the evolution of Lionel Trek. Down here at the very bottom, we have some of the newer Lionel Trek that you can buy in your local hobby shop even to this day. Up top you have some of the old, uh, the old aluminum track. Um, that was around, I believe it was in the 1980s, you could, you could buy that track. And then right up top, that's some light aluminum, that's some light aluminum rail. That was one of some of the first uh, Lionel track you could ever buy right there. Very cool. But we can go ahead and get the sale all turned on. And it is one of our loudest. There, that was one of the 
or this sale was actually a set you could buy in the 1970s and it came with uh, just about everything that you see there. We've tried to keep it as original as we can, obviously adding a few little um, extra things to the layout. But pretty much everything that you see in here came as is. Huh. The simple little uh, one loop uh, it's a, it has a single individual loop that you can run uh, a single train around. And mm -hmm. even though it's a four by two, he definitely has one, one heck of a journey. It does. We need to go outside and see some G gauge. Yes, sir. So we can, we can definitely some do big that. train. Definitely gonna need the long stick on this one. Yes, sir. Interesting story about this rail. It's actually based off the Greater Fort Bend County and actually what it originally used to look like back in the 1950s. This current town here in the center that we're actually looking at right now is a depiction of downtown Rosenberg and what it originally used to look like back in the 1950s. A lot of those buildings still uh, on our layout out there are actually still uh, here in downtown today. One of one of them I'll quickly point out to y'all. Uh, it's actually that greenhouse with the red roof there kind of uh, in that block. That was actually one of the first brick homes built here in Rosenberg. And um, uh, it, it, since, it, since it was built, it's only had about three owners. And uh, well, it can actually still be seen from our location. Actually. Just right behind us over here on the corner. Oh, okay. So right over there. It's the teal green looking. Thing. So it's Fort Bend that you mentioned. We're in Fort Bend to count. Yes, right? sir. Okay. Almost the tank.
big boy toys right here. Check this out. So all of your locomotives are diesel electric. Yes, sir. And it looks like the, this would be the oldest. Yes, sir. Originally, we did have a few steam engines in here, but after a while, a lot of our steam engines started to break down, and well, we just decided to replace them with diesels. But that's part of the reasons we chose the 1950s was because that was the transition era from steam locomotives to right. diesel locomotives. Bridge for all the trains that are stored in the box at the end of the day. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 cool idea. And the train bell is the way. That's very cool. Okay, we're going to do some 360 now. Rosenberg Train Museum. I really enjoyed it. That, that, was, a, that was a really fun outing. I was a little bit disappointed on, on the G gauge uh, X, the, the garden disc railway, the G gauge display. Um, I don't know. I would, I would, I, in my mind, I was expecting it to be more than it turned out to be. Not that I, I, I was cool. I, I thought it was really cool. It just wasn't quite as mind-blowing wow as the the two display three displays that were inside that guy that did the the forest scene oh my goodness you got to go see that I, my camera work does not do any of those layouts justice you got to see them in person i i highly recommend planning on going to uh rosenberg and it's not too far to drive from Brazzles Bend State Park. So you can take your RV and go to Brazzles Bend State Park and then hop up to Rosenberg and check out the train museum. All right, we're, we're done with this video. So you're still with me at this point. Thank you so much for watching. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you've already been following along thank you i really appreciate it that's why i get to go see these trains thank you for that opportunity and for my patron i am so grateful for your generosity you guys rock all right we'll see you on the next training video